Ask constituents to beat home drums with me in terms of ensuring that our parish start to rise. Three and a half years later, the mantra has changed. St. John is definitely rising. In addition to that, home drums are still beating because these home drums were beating from 2018. Even though that there was a pandemic and we was impacted by the pandemic, we were impacted by the ashfall, in three and a half years, more was done in the constituency in St. John than 60 years prior to 2018. Infrastructural work has been done in several communities within the constituency. Um, households have been impacted in terms of jobs. Households have been impacted in terms of pit toilets being moved from that into waterborne facilities. Am I finished? Of course not. There's still a lot to be done on this political journey. And this new campaign will embark on trying to complete a number of the projects that are still outstanding in St. John. I have roads to be fixed. I have a couple of pit toilets that are still to be replaced. Um, we have roads, like I said, that are really, really outstanding. The park at Pool Woods is to be fixed. The old polyclinic is still to be converted into a uh, the polyclinic is to be converted into a vendor's mall. So these are some of the projects that are still in the pipeline for the constituency of St. John. As I have mentioned before, the water problem is no more. That was taken care of. Today, I want to promise the residents of St. John that this journey will not cease until a number of projects that I have identified to be put on the table are brought to fruition that you can see a tangible change of the landscape in the constituency of St. John. This is my solid pledge. Now, you, you cannot come to St. John people after 10 years of saying absolutely nothing and believe that you have the answers to the, the issues. I have been in community work for the past 20 years prior to the election and it would have been seen as it relates to my work on the ground within the constituency of St. John. Some of the projects, again, that are supposed to come is sporting, <clears throat> but we were hit by COVID. So therefore, the track club that I had planned with two coaches on board could not materialize. The rebirth of netball, basketball within the constituency have not materialized. But these things will happen because I believe that the young people in St. John deserve a better chance at everything that is available on the landscape in Barbados. Government in 2018, 2019 would have again made university education free. Persons from in St. John would have, benefit, would have benefited from that. And I, I want to ensure, I want to promise the young people in St. John that this journey will revolve primarily among facilitating their needs and aspirations because I understand what it is to have a second chance. I understand what it is to be able to accomplish your dreams. At the same time, I am not by any means whatsoever omitting the senior citizens within the constituency of St. John. Plans will be put in place to ensure that those persons who are seniors within the constituency of St. John live out their days in a meaningful way and that activities are put in place that they can benefit from that. So.